Hi folks, Stephen Nicholas here. Thanks for joining me on this description of a five sequence panel drawing that I'm going to do right now. If this is your first time, please feel free to have your paper and your uh, these things, colors ready and you can join me in this process. So the hardest thing I've discovered is making the lines even. So to make five panels, we need four lines and we kind of want to make each panel about the same width. So I've got five panels now and we're going to begin this drawing. So the five sequence drawing process, first thing we're going to be doing up here is putting a, a storyboard of a pattern, of a strength, of a, a really important question that I would like to create an experience of positive difference with. So this could be a place where I get stuck uh, internally or in different relationships I have in the world. It could be a strength. It, it could be uh, one of the ways I am with myself and other people that is actually a big positive. It could be a place I am in my life where I have this really important question I would like to explore. So any of those are, are relevant ideas for a story. Now, a story board comes from usually movies and TV where they take a scene and they break the scene down to each just each little bit of a of the action. There's no words in it, there's none of those symbols, any of those kinds of things. It's just action, no dialogue. And that's what we're looking for up here. So I'm going to pick something today um, that I'm working with. Uh, sometimes uh, I'm going to pick a little place I get stuck. All right, now I'm stuck with coming up with a theme. So I'm going to choose that to work with. You'll notice I'm a very talented drawing uh, individual. I, uh, I have amazing talents and I'm going to demonstrate to you now some of this amazing drawing talent. I typically use stick figures. And here is me with a little frown on my face thinking, what in the heck can I draw about? Now, since I'm not allowed to use anything that lives on a typewriter or keyboard, instead of, I'm just going to do a little black line coming off of me like that that shows <coughs> thinking about this. And then, of course, I might want to put up a little bit of a drawing pad. All right, so I pick a little bit of one of these, and I put one of these on it, and there's my drawing pad, and I don't really know what to do. So that's my story, and what I want to do now on panel two is separate my story from my felt sense of the story. In other words, how I feel about the story. So to do that, I need to stop talking for a moment and notice the experience in my body of kind of getting stuck coming up with a story to draw with you folks today. And then I'm going to take that felt sense, pictures and words here, feelings here, I'm going to take the felt sense of that and I'm going to invite my imagination to help me translate that into color and pattern, not another story. This is a little frustration. That's an expression of frustration of color and pattern. Got that panel too. I've chosen a story that I want to experience positive difference with. I've separated my storyboard from my experience of the story and I've expressed that here as color and pattern, not another story. So now we get to panel three. Panel three is really an interesting panel because this is where we want to use our imagination in a more helpful way. For example, imagining how would I really like to feel about this story? 
how would I really like to feel about not quite knowing what to draw about and then this intuition comes, well I'll just draw about getting stuck on picking a story. So stop talking so that I can notice what I would really like to feel, allow that to happen for me about this story. Goes. Now, as some of you are remembering, this is, this is a 30-day challenge. So I'm going to be doing, you're hopefully going to be doing one of these drawings, five sequence drawings every day. So, you know, we don't have to take this real seriously, even though the subject matter may be serious. So that's an expression of how I like to feel. I like to feel a little bit more flow with a little bit of these kind of more interesting lighter colors rather than this kind of jagged stuff. So this is the feeling I'd like to have about not knowing what to draw about. So interesting question now is okay I got this how I do feel about my story. This is how I'd like to feel about my story is color and pattern. And now panel four is where we really engage our imagination with something we may not know the answer for. And that is, what needs to be different in here for me, with me, so that I, act, so that I can actually move from having this feeling about my story to having this feeling about my story. So something in here needs to be different, and it needs to be powerful enough, potent enough, to allow me to make this transformation. Gets close. So what, what we've gotten now is I've got this story of me not really going, oh, what do I draw? What would be a, a, a useful and helpful story to draw about in this five sequence process? And this is me having a hard time coming up with it. And what you probably won't see in this video is the seconds I spent actually uh, trying to come up with something and, and getting frustrated and, and wasn't able to. So then I have my story. And I notice my feeling about the story, and then I invite my imagination to help me by translating it into color and pattern, abstract. And then I hold the important question, how do I really want to feel about this story of getting stuck coming up with stories? And I find that what happened for me was a little more of a flowing experience with with some particular more interesting colors for me, lighter colors. Yellow happens to be a favorite one, you kind of see that anywhere I draw. And then the question is, what's the, the, the transformative resource I need here to actually help me to move from having this feeling about my story to having this feeling about my story? And I held that question for a little bit and it was kind of like a firework thing or something like that. Um, and, and that's what that looks like. So the work is done. I've done the work from this story given these three uh, experiences. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this story into the world by doing another storyboard, getting back to the literal kind of stuff and notice uh, how I make it a little bit different. With the new story, Ooh, there again, you can see what a great drawer I am. He looks happier, doesn't he? Yeah. Here's another drawing pad. And here's another one. He's got this wonderful 
more stuff coming off of these. And in this case, he's actually outside. He's got some sun. He's got a nice tree over here. Trees. This is going to be a fruit tree. I'm going to make it an apple tree. You read things? The fruit of my creativity expressed is apples in a tree. Sunshiny day. How about some blue sky? There you got it. Thank you very much.